What up? Dang, boy. That hairline throwing back, though. What's up, guys? So, um, yeah, if you're seeing this video first, it's because, um, I am not done with the, uh, the ending of the uh paint job video and uh you know i'm waiting for a sunny day to uh go ahead and uh do go some real good like cinematics and some like uh just some highlights of the paint job and uh we just ain't been having that because it's been sunny out so i know you guys I've seen pictures on Facebook and stuff like that as far as what my car looks like right now, but it's a BMW. I haven't been driving that for quite some time because it's been sunny out. And the day that I want to finish the paint job video, it just fucking shit weather. Anyways, um, you guys all pretty much know what it looks like. Um, and you'll definitely be seeing it in this video. Did the valve cover not too long ago um but yeah i'll do a big reveal on that but uh today today i'm making a video of doing some uh i'm doing the four lock conversion for the rear brakes getting rid of the drums and doing the brakes we got um we have the si brake lines which I have over here. These are the rear uh, calipers. I pulled these off at the junkyard from a uh, 1997 Acura Integra. And unfortunately, the um, I can't use the original uh, Acura Integra brake lines because they're different. So I had to go and purchase uh, the SI brake lines off of uh, uh, 2000 EM1. And those came out to be about, I wanna say like, I think they were like 37 bucks a piece. And then um, that's not the only thing that you need to have to uh, convert these. Uh, you also need the uh, e-brake cables off the uh, SI, you need 2000 SI brake cables because for some reason the factory ones are the one that's already on my DX is just not gonna work, they're just a little too short. So, um, had to pick those bad boys up. Sorry, my uh, toolbox is a little disgusting right now. And then uh, just, uh, just another e-brake cable. I probably should have opened these a little bit ago to uh, go ahead and make sure that I got the correct ones. Um, yeah, but there's a left, there's a left and a right, and I went ahead and got, you know, just some O'Reilly's brand brake pads. I didn't go really uh, too crazy on this. I know uh, a lot of people spend some super high money on some like diamond cut ceramics and shit like that, but I just went basic O'Reilly's I got front and rears because you know it's probably time I do the front I mean I haven't done brakes on the hatch in probably like at least a year and a half because the car's been sitting what, since last summer and then the itty, the itty bitties for the rear they're so cute <laughs> and then of course I got my rotors um, I was going to change the hubs but the you know, I might have to change them later. There's no play in the studs, so I'm not swapping out the hubs. But one thing I am swapping out, which I already started doing, was, and I had to, like, you can pull these from the junkyard and shit, but like, fuck, come on, you gotta replace them. Like, don't, like, if you're doing, if you're doing the conversion, and you don't wanna have to worry about taking or dropping the trailing arms again, like, replace some of the parts that need to be replaced. And what I had to do was the rear trailing arm bushings. Now these ones were fucked. These ones got super bad cracks in it, as you can see. 
Um, yeah, I didn't want to swap those in my car and then fucking have them shit out on me later. Um, I went and picked up some O'Reilly's brand. Don't laugh. I know I went cheap about it. I was thinking about picking up energy ones, but I didn't want to sit there and wait for eBay. Um, O'Reilly's had some, uh, some aftermarket ones. They weren't like, uh, they weren't super cheap, but I think I paid like maybe twenty five ninety nine. I forget what brand they are, but what's cool about them is they're not like the original. Like you see the OEM boots, they're not 100% like you can see through them. And the aftermarket O'Reilly's ones, they're not see-through, they're, they're full boot. They're not like full and complete as like the uh, energy ones, because the energy ones, all it's like solid, but um, it's a closed boot. So I was like, oh hell yeah, I'm gonna pick those up anyways, because they'll probably last a lot longer. So I gotta swap those in, and then I, Went treep on the rotors too, you know. I was I was doing my research on the four lug conversion. I um, might even want to do five, do the type R conversion later. So I just went and bought basic non-drilled, non-slotted rotors because you know all that shit for the cooling on all the cuts and whatnot. Um, that's mainly for boosted cars and. My B18 B1. It's got way too many miles on it for me to go that route. So I'm gonna upgrade the suspension and stuff first. Say hi, babe. What you want? Uh, don't be rude to me. We found I wasn't trying to be rude. Oh, where was it? I don't know if you Oh, okay. But yeah, in order to do that, I gotta put the car up on all fours. The car's up on all fours right now. I gotta swap in the bushing for. Um, this trailing arm right here and then um i gotta drop the exhaust so i could put in the e-brake cables which is what i'm probably gonna do first um because i'm not gonna go in there and fucking go inside the the drum and fucking take apart the e-brake and shit i'm just gonna pull the e-brake and then just pull it through the boot uh on the bottom of the car and just slide the whole trailing arm out because i'm not fucking with that uh oh these are always a bitch. All right. And that's it. You usually want to get these to be um, flush with the uh, trailing arm. And just like you have short side out, long side in. You gravy. Yep. Good old good old uh forearm power and some good old fashioned hammering. Yeah, you, know, you get the trailer arm bushings right in. Yeah. Alright, next up. Alright, for those of you who haven't seen the interior of my car, I'm not fucking done yet, so don't be fucking bashing me, alright? Um but yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop off this cover. Uh, there's two screws right there. One screw right there, one screw right there. Screws on the other side. And then uh, there's one screw in front down here. And then a screw on the other side. And then um, center console should pop off. All right. Well, give me a couple minutes and I'll get right back to you guys. All right. So, all right, check it out. All right, so this is your e-brake, your e-brake setup, and I can't, and I can't use uh, these ones anymore, these e-brake cables. And so what we got to do is loosen these two bolts right here, this one and this one, and they're usually about, I think they're 12 mils, but I could be wrong. Um, I believe this is also a 12. It might be a 14. Um, not sure, but you guys will figure that out once you guys actually try and do this video or someone uses it as a reference to go ahead and do their uh, four lug rear disc brakes conversion. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I gotta go under, or I gotta pull it. You gotta pull the carpet back. I'll pull it right back real quick. Oh. Ah. 
you gotta pull the seat up and uh pull the carpet back uh give me a couple minutes i'll go ahead and do that shit all right guys so um brackets off um cables have been pulled out and here is what they're going to be pushed through uh make sure you keep a hold of these uh grommets because i'm not sure if they come on the old one but you might want to save those last but not least now it's uh it's time to go under the car and at least drop some of the exhaust all right so key shield has been dropped as you can see it should is loose as fuck now here's where we pull see see that boot right there you kind of see the inside of the car and see the this is behind the heat shield exhaust heat shield boot and that's where the e-brake cables come out now this is what i was talking about by uh, paying attention to how the e-brakes are routed there's a mounting bracket right here. It's got a 12 mil, my fingers on it. Sorry, trying to get it to focus, but it won't focus. But right where that heat shield was covering, there's a 12 mil bolt. And then there's a couple 12 mil bolts here. A 12 millimeter there. A 12 millimeter bolt on the rear trailing arm. And that shit, and that's it for the e-brake cables. And then you reroute the new ones. Alright, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that though. Alright, so that's all done. Kind of took me a little bit, but that's because the uh, mountain brackets wanted to play with me and I had to bend them a little bit. But they're all mounted up. Boom, boom. Except for those ones, I didn't touch those ones because those come off with the rear trailing arm. And then, uh, that one's done, along with that one right there. And then uh, now it's time to take off the wheels and take off the rear trailing arms because you don't want to pull everything back up until you fully adjust all of the uh, e-brake cables and whatnot. And you don't want to put the heat shield on until you have all the boots adjusted and everything uh, routed properly. Thing we're gonna do is um, do the brake lines so that way uh, not a bunch of shit is fucking leaking everywhere well I'm gonna get a drip pan because obviously something's gonna leak but I gotta pull out this pin and then uh, get a wrench in there and uh, just start hopefully they don't strip because otherwise you got to replace them and I gotta tell you they're a fucking pain in the ass but I'll make it work um, but yeah, we're gonna pull out these pins and, uh, put a caliper on and, uh, hook it up so no more, so no more leakage. So, uh, the reason why you do this is you do the brake lines right then and there is because, um, you want to make sure the caliper is enclosed because you don't want to take off the brake line and just have it leaking everywhere. Because then that's just more bleeding for your ass. Now, so what you'll do is uh, you'll have the rear trailing arm set up if you want. It's really up to you. But uh, we're going to have them connected to the calipers. And the caliper, I'm just going to have the calipers hanging probably off the strut with the uh, bungee cord. And uh, go ahead and just unscrew that line. Screw this one back in real quick. All right, so I'm gonna take the hook, bolt, cut like that to the strut. So it's just hanging off the spring. And then I'm gonna come in here, take off that brake line, and install. this brake line and we'll be good to go 
This is the moment of truth, no turn back. Once you disconnect the brake lines, in there like swimming way. So, all right, so now we got to take off the rear trim arm. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bust open this 14 right here, let's connect it to the LCA, which I need to replace. Don't look at my shitty OEM ones. Then, two 17s here, which I already took out, a 17 there, and another, I believe. That's a 14 right there. And then after that, the trailing arm should pop off. Um, do it in this order. Take the two 17s off. Oh, wait, I lied. Do we got two more 14s right there. But instead of taking them off right here, I'm taking it right here. So that way I don't have to adjust my, uh, adjust too much. Well, either way, after this shit's done, you need to go and get an alignment regardless of what's what you're changing anytime you do suspension work you need to get in alignment afterwards got that new trailing arm in I, 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 I. looking all beautiful i took off the rotor i had to drill out the old uh rotor, the older rotor screws because um they just didn't want to come out um, usually they're always stripped especially on these older models like it's almost 80 percent of the time you gotta drill them out because uh the junkyard they sit all old and rusted um, but um yeah i gotta find these screws don't worry i'm not gonna die or anything like that there's not gonna be any sort of rubbing on these uh calipers or anything like that they're gonna be a-okay um with that being said uh yeah Pretty sweet car, man. What I did was I had to draw out the old bolts on the rotors. Any Honda gurus out there know that. that what's what happens when you pull a junkyard shit. Bolt down the old trailing arm for the e-brake, or the e-brake on the old trailing arm, which is that bolt right there. It's the only other mounting bracket. Feed it through the hole, the first hole in the trailing arm. Route it around the corner. And hook it up to the caliper on the on, on the caliper. There's a there's a pin and there's a like almost like a cotter pin Like a bobby pin that needs to be routed and there's a, a e-brake bracket that you need to uh, Install the clip on I haven't done the clip yet, but um, yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like once it's finished um, Yeah, we just breaks Ooh, woo -woo. I'm not gonna show me uh bleeding the brakes because that shit should be self-explanatory um if not there i'm pretty sure there's plenty of other videos out on youtube on how to do it yeah, if you guys have any questions feel free to just message me i'm more than happy to help out yeah i hope you guys like this video i'm not going to show the other side because the other side's the exact same except the e-brake mounting bolts are like in slightly different spots but you guys can't fuck that up because it only fits one way and it only goes one way um, with that being said, just uh, bleed the brakes in proper order, obviously. Um, furthest away from the brake booster first, and then, and then, so it'd be passenger rear, then driver side rear, then passenger side, then driver side front, and then other than that, you are good to go. All right, man. Thanks, guys. See you later.